Okay, we've got a quadratic question here. And we drew a quadratic graph earlier. Now there's a couple of ways you can solve quadratic equations. One of them is you can factorize. One of them is complete the square. One of them is to uh, draw the graph. It's not the most accurate method because uh, and we can tell we're going to need to be quite accurate because it's often for three significant figures. So we don't like to do that one unless we're really asked to do it. And the other one is you can use the formula. Now the formula is at the front of the book. And um, the hint that we need to use a formula is the fact it asks for three significant figures here. So we know we're going to use it to have to use our calculators. And this method often uses a calculator to do it. So the formula at the front of the book is x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. So, um, and that's where the equation is ax squared plus bx plus c, <coughs> excuse me for my croaky voice, equals zero. So we need to work out in our question what a B and C are, and then we need to put these into an equation. So for us, the number in front of the x squared is 5. For us, the number in front of B is minus 3. And for us, the number C, the number in front of x, <coughs> let me say again, the number in front of the x squared is 5, the number in front of the x is minus 3 for us, and the number, the number on its own is minus 7. So we need to put this all into our equation x is equal to minus minus 3 which is plus 3 plus or minus the square root of minus 3 squared now be careful when you do this on your calculator minus 3 times minus 3 is plus 9 sometimes your calculator gives you the wrong answer if you don't use brackets minus 4 times a times c 4 times a is 20 times that is minus 140 so with this minus as well, it becomes plus 140. Go back over that if you need to. And check your understanding of the negatives. And on the bottom, we need to divide by... Let's get rid of that, because that's in the way. And on the bottom, we need two lots of A, which is 10. So X is equal to 3, plus or minus. We're not really talking about plus or minus yet. The square root of 149, all divided by 10. And that's because we're going to have two answers for our equation. One when we take the plus root, 3 plus square root of 149 divided by 10. And the second answer when we do the minus root. It means there's two options in table this. Instead of writing two equations out, we write one equation, but with two options. So the second option will be 3 minus square root of 149, all divided by 10. So all I have to do is on my calculator, do one and then the other. And I can actually use my calculator to go up and edit it if I want, or just tap it all in. So I'm doing the plus root first, 3 plus 149 square root off. Divide the answer by 10. And one of the answers, x is equal to 1.5206555562. And the other thing we've got is give our solutions, means we're more than one, to three significant figures. Let's do the other root. Let's do the negative 3 minus the square root of 100. 3 minus the square root of 149. And then divide it by 10. And get the answer minus 0.92067. Six two, and these are our two solutions. We're not quite finished yet, because we asked to put three significant figures. So that means x is equal to one point five two, first three digits, or this time the first digit is one two, and this one, or minus zero point nine two one, and there's our answer. Just in time before my five minutes are up. Go back over it and check if you need to.